Hey, eighth graders, um, continuing our look at linear systems today, lesson 25 is the geometric interpretation of the solutions of a linear system. So when the graphs of a system of linear equations are sketched or graphed, and if they are not parallel lines, then the point of intersection of the lines of the graph represents the solution to the system. Two distinct lines intersect at most at one point, if they intersect. The coordinates of that point, x, y, represent values that make both equations of the system true. So our system is x plus y equals 3, x minus y equals 5. The point they intersect is the solution. So you can see that here, 4, negative 1. Check that it is a solution of both equations. So 4 plus negative 1 equals 3, which I guess it does, 3 equals 3 and then x minus y, so four minus a negative one, so four plus one is five, five equals five. All right, so then our next system is x plus y equals negative two, y equals four x plus three. So again, we graph them here, negative one, negative one, verify it's a solution for both. Negative one plus a negative one is negative two, negative two equals negative two. Negative 1 equals 4 times negative 1, which would be negative 4, plus 3 is going to give us a negative 1. So please complete the model questions for lesson 25. It'll be pretty short, probably just 10 points total, even with the extras. Um, but what I'll be doing is asking you to identify the solution or the point where two lines intersect for the system. Okay, so I'll give you a graph just like those ones here, and it should be pretty easy to tell where the points intersect. If you have questions or struggling with anything, let me know um, and have a great day.